For me, it's I feel it's one of the new myths of po of post mal surgery is that if you fix the post mal, you don't need to fix the syndesmosis. You certainly need to test it. I feel that's all because the the anti ligaments could still be, and especially if it's a high fibula, this is not a high fibula, but especially if it's a high fibula, um, there's two um biomechanical tapes on that, and I certainly I've seen quite a few failures uh, in our own practice where the syndesmosis was not addressed and it then was stable unstable afterwards. Uh, does anyone want to add into that? I think no. I, I, so my, certainly in the high energy trauma, so when we see a lot of the open ankles where there's capsular disruption around the whole ankle or they've had a frank dislocation as well, um, you, you can kid yourself that just fixing the back stabilizes the talus under the tibia. And sometimes you need to augment that um, depending on the soft tissues and what else is going on. There are lots of other strategies, but yeah, I, I agree.